As light enters a different material, a different medium, it changes direction and sometimes we describe that as it bending. The bending of light is called refraction. The refraction of light is why this spoon appears to be broken. So the spoon obviously isn't snapped in two, it is carrying through the liquid as normal. However, when we look at the spoon, it appears to be broken. It's all to do with refraction. If we look at the top of the spoon, the light reflects off of the spoon and into our eye. And at the top of the spoon, the light always travels in the same medium. It's traveling in air here and air as the reflected ray bounces off. However, as the light goes in to reach the bottom of the spoon, at this point here it meets a boundary between two different mediums. So it first of all travels through air, but then it travels into a different medium in this liquid. And because of this, the light doesn't travel in a straight line through and a straight line back again into our eye. Because it enters into a different medium, we actually get a change of direction of light, so perhaps it would travel down more like this. And as it reflects back and then back into air, you get another change of direction. And it's because of this refraction, this change in direction, that we do not see this spoon as we would expect it to appear. It appears to be broken because of this changing of direction as it's entering and then leaving a different medium before it enters the eye. So when we're talking about refraction, we need to look at two different mediums. We could be looking at air into liquid, or in this case, in this example, I'm going to go through, we're going to look at the different mediums of air and a glass block. So let's look at some diagrams in more detail to have a look at what is happening to the direction of light during refraction. So, for example, as light moves from air into the glass block, it changes direction. So there's your instant ray going in, but rather than going straight through, because it's entering a different medium, it will change direction. It changes direction because it changes speed. As the light enters the glass block, it slows down. As the light leaves the glass block, it speeds up again and changes direction again because once again it is traveling in air. So here we've got a diagram that shows how light moves from air into a glass block and out again into air. So as you can see as the light comes in it doesn't travel in a straight line through the glass block like so. Instead it changes direction so it goes along this path here as it travels through the glass block. By drawing normal lines on a refraction diagram, you can calculate the angle of instance, angle of refraction, and angle of emergence. So here's the angle of instance between the normal and the incident ray, the angle of refraction, and the angle of emergence. And you should notice that the angle of instance will be equal to the angle of emergence because as it's going in, it's traveling in air, and as it's going out again, it's traveling in air. So if it's going back into the same medium, the angle of instance will equal the angle of emergence. As light enters a denser medium, it bends towards the normal. So a glass block is more dense than air. If you were to measure the angles then, let's say this was, for example, coming in at around 45 degrees, as it bends towards the normal, this angle will be smaller, say 35 degrees, for example. As the light enters a less dense medium, it bends away from the normal. So as the light leaves the glass block, it's going from the dense glass block into the less dense air, so it bends away from the normal. And we said that the instant ray going in, for example, is 45 degrees, this might be more like 35 degrees and coming out again it bends away from the normal so the angle increases and it would be the same as 
the angle of incidence because it's moving into the same medium. So it starts off in air, goes into the denser glass block and comes back out into air. So you might see some diagrams that don't show a glass block but instead just show a barrier to show the light moving into a different medium. So we've got two different examples here. We've got where it moves from a less dense to a more dense medium. And this one is the opposite, where the light's moving from a more dense to a less dense medium. And on both diagrams, you've got the incident ray going in. So let's draw those dashed lines on, our normal lines on, at 90 degrees to the surface. So here they are at 90 degrees to the surface. And we said that when light moves from a less dense to a more dense medium, it will bend towards the normal. And if we were starting from a more dense medium, moving to a less dense medium, it would move away from the normal. Finally, you can get a situation whereby the incident ray is hitting the surface along the normal line at 90 degrees to the surface. And in this case, the ray will not be refracted. So if the light hits the surface of the different medium along the normal line at 90 degrees, it will not refract and it will go straight through. So travelling still along that normal line into the next medium. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.